Hi, I'm David Yacht Christian. We're going to take the trash out real quick. Now, why would I make a video on this? I don't know. Just for the fun of it, because it's like a reality show. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, look, I just broke my wheels. <laughs> It's okay. It's not the end of the world. I can still drag it. Actually, I'm gonna lift it right here. Okay. So we don't need we don't need the wheels. Don't worry. I'm okay. It's not the end of the world. I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna live. Wow, it's a beautiful day, look at it. Oh, it's sunny out here, huh? Wow, beautiful day. It's like spring is coming. Spring is coming. Oh. I thought I had my keys on me. I didn't. Weird. I know I put them in my pocket. I must not have. Okay. It doesn't seem to be working. Oh, there it goes. That's a buzzer. I wonder where I put those keys though. Huh. Hello. I wonder where I put my keys. I thought I put them in my pocket. Okay, here we go. This makes for good reality show. David Christian, founder of Helpology, lost his keys. He's not very smart, is he? <laughs> Let's go find it. There they are. Yeah. Green, yellow, red. Red gets me in from the outside. The door's red. Green is the top lock. No. Yellow is the top lock, like the sun is in the sky. Green is the bottom lock, like the grass. That's how I remember to get in my house. This is a cool little keychain. It's called uh, Night I-Z-E. N-I-T-E-I-Z-E. -E. Night Eyes. I don't know what that means, but... It's like a little foot and then it locks like that. So that's all I got for you today. That's the helpology I got. <laughs> I know sometimes you're not gonna be impressed. It's okay. I teach you little things. They make a big difference over time. Little things like making sure you put in the micro, instead of microwaving food, you use the oven. Use that oven instead of microwaving and you watch how much better the food tastes. Oh, you're gonna love it. And you're gonna be like, oh, I would have never thought to do that. See, I've been doing microwave food for most of my life. I'm 52 and I just started about a week ago using the oven. And I'm the founder of Helpology, so I can only imagine how many other people in this world would never put a microwave food, warm it up in an oven. But if you try it, you'll probably never go back. Look, we don't even have a microwave anymore. The microwave broke and mom's like, we don't even need it. We just keep using the oven. So hallelujah for wonderful tasting food that when you put it in the oven, makes you never want to use the microwave again. So listen, I love you. I miss you. No, I'm just kidding. I don't miss you. I don't even know who you are. I'm just joking. <laughs> Here, look at what mama's doing. She's, don't. <laughs> she's like, don't show me. That's she's so cute. I love her. You know, I told, I, I saw a video of someone said, the greatest thing my mother did for me was believe in me. And that's what my mother did. She always believed in me, just that I would learn my own lessons as I went. I used to have a mohawk when I was 16. Like this is a mohawk haircut. Shaved my head, it was a punk rocker, smoking cigarettes, smoking crack cocaine, snorting cocaine, all this stuff. My mom was just like, she, he's gonna go out and learn his lessons. 
And so she let me learn my lessons, and I learned a lot of lessons over time. But hey, now you get to glean from what I know. Born again Christian, founder of Helpology, sharing with you, speaking the truth in love, letting the Holy Spirit guide me, direct me to teach you things that you probably won't learn anywhere else. But who knows? Maybe you'll learn it somewhere else. But check out what Jeffrey's doing. What you got going there? You're putting together some phones you got? Let's see what you got here. Can I show the people? Look at that. He, he likes to recycle phones. He'll collect them and then sell them. This is little side business. He's an entrepreneur. Did that guy answer? Right now he's got someone who bought, wants to buy one of his phones for 20 bucks. We're going to go meet him. He does Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, and he also does OfferUp. Which, by the way, if you haven't tried OfferUp, I suggest it. It's a really good app, really great way to sell some of your things that you're not using. Marketplace is okay too, but OfferUp, I find that OfferUp more buyers. Marketplace, a lot of people that are just looking. It's kind of like this. You're on, they're on Facebook, doing their Facebook stuff, which is a lot of you know research, looking, entertaining, stuff like that. And then their marketplace stuff comes up and they're like, oh, I, I might be interested in that. But they're still just looking. They're, they're looky-loos. We call them looky-loos. I've had many people say, I'm interested. And then they don't call you back. They don't meet you. They, they don't really want it. They were just interested because they were Facebooking and it caught their attention, you see. But offer up, these are people that are buying and selling. So I recommend you try both and see which works better for you. If you can do both, do both. But if you can only do one, offer up. Offer up's the secret to reselling stuff. Really great. One of my, well, I have an ex-wife who, she sold over a thousand items on offer up. Made over $10,000 on offer up. So if you do it and keep doing it, but this person lives in a big city though, Phoenix, Arizona, lots of people, lots of buyers, lots of money. We live in Michigan, not so many buyers. Um, not much money. So we don't sell as much over here, but they do come in slowly. People will contact us by this, by that, but like, it's nothing like a big city. If you're in Phoenix or LA or New York, try offer up, you'll probably sell almost anything, but the secret is to put it at a low price. So people buy it where it makes sense to buy used instead of new. So I'm going to let you go now, but I love you in the name of Yahusha Jesus. And for all of you out there that are like, don't say Jesus anymore. How else am I going to explain that when I talk about Yahusha, I'm talking about the character in the scriptures that we know as Jesus. If you know of another way that I can say this to where I'm not mentioning Jesus, leave it in the comment section and I'll do my best to change it. But I just don't know how I could ever say Yahusha. You know, the character in the Bible that we talk about, his name is Jesus, but it's not really Jesus because he's a pig God and all these other things that... A lot of people believe. I just say Yahu though Yah himself give me wisdom to just say Yahusha Jesus, and that explains who I'm talking about. But again, if you know a better way to say it, kindly let me know and I will correct myself if that makes more sense. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your love, your grace, your mercy. Thank you for what you've done, what you're doing, what you will do in our lives. We ask that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit, your set apart spirit what some people call the Ruach HaKadosh, which means the set-apart breath. <sighs> Fill us to overflowing. Let that love inside us flow out to those around us and let it touch others who need salvation, who need to know Yahusha, Jesus. They need that salvation so they don't go to hell. They need their sins forgiven. Help us to be that, that light in the darkness that's gonna save souls, that's gonna help the backslidden Christian come back to the faith, and so on and so forth. But we don't know what you're doing, but we do know that you're moving. And we would pray for a revival, a revival in our individual lives, a huge revival in these end times, that when people see it, they just say, wow, something's going on with that helpology. And that David Yah Christian guy, he keeps praying for people, and people are changing, they're getting saved, they're touching other lives, a revival is what we're asking for, not to us, but to your name, Yahuwah, the Lord, be the glory. We don't want to be the ones that get the credit. We know it's not us. We know it's you. And so we ask that you would do a move, a mighty move for your glory. In Yahusha, 
Jesus' precious name. Amen. What's the most helpful and simplest way that works?